Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about working with audio, picking up where we left off in our video about working with titles. Audio could not be more important. So let's definitely take a deep look at audio. And then in our next video, we will look at audio plugins for vMix, which really takes audio to the next level. But first, we should definitely cover the basics. So in the middle of the screen, you see a tab, just a live, you know, ticker, a live view of your audio. So that's right in the center there. So you can always kind of see if your video has audio. If it does not have audio, it won't be there. And so what I've done is I just really quickly um, muted the input that had audio on it. So we've got a little video clip here. It has audio and it, that green audio button is on. It will uh, show the audio being played in the master and you can kind of see it there. But when I click that audio button again, it will turn the audio off. So that's one simple way to turn audio on and off on any input. But as you get more and more in depth with audio, you are likely going to want to use the audio mixer, which is right over here. So let's go to the audio mixer here and open it up. Now the audio mixer can be looked at in a couple different ways. Let me bring it down here. Generally, it's nested in the side here. So it's really just kind of a simple, easy way to have your inputs nested in here. Before we get into the audio mixer, how do we add things to the audio mixer? Now we did talk about adding audio inputs and I'm just gonna add a microphone. I'll add my Realtek microphone, which is the one that's built into this computer. And so you can see it right there. Now that's now that I've added that input, it's automatically added into my audio mixer in the corner here. So when we're doing this tutorial, I'm gonna hit this pin button to take it out of the nested kind of window. And now I can bring it anywhere, but this is an easier way for us to look at this. So I have a couple different things to look at. One is the master, right? That's all inputs summed into one master output. And any input that has that little M there, that means it's going to the master. If you enable additional audio outputs, which vMix can do multiple audio buses, they will show up here as A, B, C, and D, and you can enable them and enable the audio you'd like to route to them by clicking those buttons. You can also mute these quickly by hitting that little mute button there. So just because it's routed to the master, it could still be muted, right? So you can see there's no audio and then up oh, there's audio because I've unmuted it, right? This little button, this next button here is that automatic mix this input when it transitions. And that's something that we looked at in the input settings. And that's an important thing to note. Uh, it's nice to have that feature. So if you go to a video file or a audio microphone that you know that it will automatically start playing and unmute. And it'll pause when it is, you know, transitioned away from. Now the S button, that is solo. So that means when you click that, your headphones will just hear that single input. So if you have a lot of inputs and you just need to focus on one, you can click the S button. And then you can configure the audio settings such as gain and compression by hitting this cog here. We'll do that in a minute to look at them in more depth. But before we do so, I want to mention this little headphone here. Your headphone output is so important as a vMix producer. This is your master headphone output. But each audio source can be either muted or sent to your headphones. So that's something that we need to definitely look at. But let's zoom out here and take a peek at one of these audio microphones by clicking the cog. So when we click the cog, that will open up our audio settings here. And let's zoom into this so that we can take a closer look at the individual audio settings for inputs. 
So we have some tabs, just like we did in our add input, um, our input options, but this is just for audio. So you can see here right away, the device volume was coming in at 50%. Uh, you should usually be, you know, maybe at around 90 or so. You can add additional gain to any input if it's coming in too soft and you want to boost it up a little bit. You can add delay, which is a common problem with audio and video sources in any live streaming system, is that, you know, your audio might be coming in a little faster than your video. So you can delay your video. Sometimes I delay my video like 50 to 80 milliseconds to match it up better. You can also turn on automatic gain control. So if you have audio coming in, you want vMix to handle increasing or decreasing the gain, you can click that button. Now the plugins we're gonna look at in a separate video because there's a really advanced portion of vMix that goes into plugins and it really requires a separate video. We have a simple EQ here. EQs are a little advanced. You know, you kinda gotta learn how to use them. But essentially, you can you know, increase or decrease certain frequencies in the audio to get rid of or add to various parts of the incoming audio source. So if you're getting a lot of a, a low hum, you can get rid of that with like the buses going by uh, through a, a wall maybe. Or if you have like a high-pitched screeching sound or a, a, a high wind sound, you can get rid of that by cutting this out. So you can try it and you can add some to it and listen to it and then you can enable it and disable it to see if you like what you've done to your audio. A compressor is a good thing to have, especially if you have audio coming in that is really loud or somebody who really gets excited. You can compress their audio and it makes it sound more robust in some ways, depends on the person's voice, but you can compress it down with a threshold and a ratio until you know, it really just avoids them to really just peak and and uh, you know makes it sound better in many cases, especially for like announcers or people who get really loud. A noise gate will automatically mute the microphone, so you can see how it's automatically muting it unless it hits a certain threshold. So that's not a bad thing to have. It can sound a little unnatural. Um, depending on the different source, but it's, it, it's nice in certain cases. Now here's your channel mixer. You can see it's uh, basically coming in stereo. That's why there's a right and a left channel, and you can mix these together. Now we haven't looked at this headphone setup. You can turn off a source so that it does not come in your headphones simply by clicking that headphone there. Now, if you are creating a video and you are the person who is talking, you don't want to hear yourself a lot of times. It's distracting, so you can turn it off. You can also just create a custom mix for your headphones by using this button. Maybe you want to hear some things differently than others. The other thing is you can remove it from the mixer completely, and this is something that's important to manage in your audio mixer, is that every input that has audio will be shown in the mixer. And a lot of times you don't need to see every little thing and it gets cluttered. So you can remove it from the mixer completely by checking that button. All right, our next video will be going over audio plugins for vMix that really takes vMix and audio to the next level. But now you have learned a lot about how audio works inside of vMix. All right, let's go to our next video.